Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do my seasonal stash video and today we're doing the products I used this past fall. So for some reason I don't have that many products this time but I guess that's a good thing. Most of these will have full reviews either already posted or coming soon but this is just a kind of quick rundown video. So let's get started. <laughs> so I'm starting with Elodia Hair Care. I did post a review on this one already. I tried out three of her products and I had a successful wash day with them so yay for Elodia. The first one I tried was her deep conditioner, which is right here. <laughs> so, as I mentioned, it was a bit of a sitter, but after deep conditioning, you know, after letting it sit for 30 minutes, my hair felt soft and moisturized. So it definitely did the job. And I love the minty kind of simulation that you get from a product. If you like a nice minty kind of deep conditioner, and you don't have ultra low porosity, or you are going to let it sit, I don't think you can go wrong with this. And if you want to see more information, just check out the full review. But yeah, overall, this was a go. I, I like this product. This is the texture of it. It's pretty light. And um, it does take a little while to go in, especially on like my low porosity. But it does, as you see, work in there. And it does really soften and moisturize my hair. And I love this the scent. It smells almost like kids toothpaste, so it's like minty but a little bit different too. Like a bubblegum kind of minty. And it did a good job in terms of like stimulating my scalp with all that tingle. So that was good. <laughs> so since there are not that many products, I can give you a quick peek at the ingredients. But um, I won't discuss them in detail. But you can see that she does a lot of essential oils and stuff in her products. So the next thing I tried from her was her hair cream. And this I really enjoyed. It did give me great moisture and definition. The slip wasn't, wasn't the best, but it was definitely good enough to get through my hair, no complaints. And my hair was super moisturized and defined. And again, it doesn't have a fruity scent. Like none of Alodia products that I tried had any like fruity, cakey or foody scent. So if you don't like that, then this might be a good line to try. This kind of had an herbal scent, I believe, and the others were kind of pepperminty. It's pretty light, you know, really light. The slip feels nice too right now. And it's pretty moisturizing. My hair, my skin doesn't feel tacky or anything after putting it on. So I'd also recommend that product. I think it would actually work well on its own. Um, like if you just like bigger hair or you don't use a lot of products, I would definitely recommend maybe trying this on its own because the moisture was there as well as the definition. So this might be a good product for some of you, you know, curlies or who like less is more. Try this out. So the last product I tried from Melodia is this moisturizing curling cream gel. So, I wish it didn't say moisturize because I don't think it really added a lot of moisture for me. But the definition was great and my hair was like super light. So it does have carboma in it which isn't my favorite so probably that's where the moisture went. But my hair wasn't dry afterwards, it just wasn't like super moisturized like Camille Rose Curl Maker or something, you know. It was probably a cross between your favorite hair cream and like Eco Styler Gel or something like that. It didn't have a firm hole so it was a little crunchy for me but my hair was like really light like airy like big and voluminous but defined as well so it kind of was a mind blower so if I have to do another mind blowing video this would be on it just because my hair was so light but still defined so it was super defined firm hold but not weighed down at all. This was actually the fastest drying product I've ever used in all my natural life. <laughs> fastest drying like styling products. So my hair dried super fast and was the definition was great and everything. So my only issue with this was that it wasn't super moisturizing for me and it had a bit of a crunch. But I know a lot of people don't mind crunch. So if you want a light cream gel that works like eco styler then give this a try. So this is the consistency of the gel. It is not super sticky, tacky, slimy, gunky as you can see. So, but somehow it works. Like it doesn't look like the usual sloppy kind of goopy, snotty gels you might like. But somehow I can tell you it definitely works in terms of clumping your curls and giving you definition and hold. And I love that nice little kind of toothpaste scent. I think the ingredients throughout her line was pretty similar and consistent. So next on Parade I have Curls and Potions. Again I have a full review of these products so I won't go into too much detail here but these have really great ingredients as well. I do like the ingredients 
the curling jelly I liked so I don't think it was moisturizing enough for me to use by itself I tried that and I was like uh, mm, no so I ended up using like a sotanical slip and slide nut proof hair glide leave-in under it and then I used this this really was a great defining cream, so I really liked the definition. I liked the nice soft hole that I felt like I was getting. And I want to try this again with no gel on top of it, just a leave-in in this. So that's coming up soon. I can't say when, but it's coming up soon and I'll definitely let you know. So it is, it just looks like a regular cream, but it does have some cellulose gum in there for hole and definition. Love that. I don't know why I like this so much. I like the texture. I like the scent too, it's a very mild scent, but it's just a mild, sweeter scent. But this is the, how it goes on. I'm so new at creams, that I almost like every cream I try, so I really need to like think about it some more, but I love this as a cream. Then we have the curling potion. This was kind of too much for me that it made my hair crunchy, and I wasn't really a fan of that. And I also felt like if it made my hair kind of, I don't want to say ashy, but... I felt like if it took away some of my natural shine as well. So this one I probably won't be repurchasing. But you know, you can try it, you never know. You may have a different experience. So <laughs> coming up to Product Junkie Naturals. So I do have a full review coming up soon, so I don't want to go into too much. But long story short, I had a customer service issue with her. She sent me a half empty replacement for a spill. So this one is pretty full. The replacement is like half empty. But I'm always impartial when it comes to products. I don't blame products for their owners or products for the customer service. Like it's two separate things. I was still excited to try these and definitely had an open mind. I was definitely hopeful for trying these. I got the Rosemary Matcha Green Tea Deep Conditioner. And the Hibiscus and Fenugreek Leave-In Conditioner. So I don't care that much about labels running and stuff, although it is a little annoying. But if you're that person that doesn't like that, then be warned, the labels kind of run. So I did like the ingredients. I love hibiscus, marshmallow root, I love agate nectar, I love... I don't use a lot of things for shea butter, so I'm wondering if that's something I maybe need to avoid or something, because these products didn't work for me at all. So I put in the deep conditioner like I usually do, I was like, let this happen, like I've been doing a lot. I was like, okay, let me let it sit. Um, I let it sit and still nothing happened. It just never penetrated my hair, never moisturized my hair. My hair did feel soft probably because of the amount of shea butter, but it never felt moisturized. And it was super frizzy. So this is the <laughs> deep conditioner. You can see I use most of it trying to make something happen, but nothing happened. So one thing I do like about her products is the scent. It just has a really earthy, musky kind of scent. I don't know what to tell you about it besides that, but I like the scent of both of these. So this is the texture of the deep conditioner. So it does seem light, but for some reason it just wasn't trying to go in. I'm trying to find a patch because I don't want you to say that it had stuff in there before. But you can see that this is kind of, this ain't going nowhere. I didn't put it where I had anything before because I just wanted to show you that this is not going nowhere. So it does finally kind of go in, but I can still feel a film on my skin. So... If you have high porosity, you might like this, but for my low porosity, I can still feel it. It feels almost like I use grease on the hand, to tell the truth. I just did a VIX video and it feels almost like that, so, like, I can feel like no slip. I can feel like kind of tack and no slip and just this thick layer on my skin, so, yeah. Mm, no. Maybe if you have higher porosity, you might like it, but it never did anything for me, ever. And I steam my hair, so if I sit like 20 minutes under a steamer and it still can't do a thing for me, then not for me. No, 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 no. And the leave-in just didn't do much for me. It made my hair frizzy just like the deep conditioner, but it felt like if nothing was going on. This felt like if there was nothing there, like, you know, you're putting stuff in it, nothing, like, nothing's happening. That was this. Nothing much to talk about in terms of moisture. I think the slip was just okay. So this is the texture of the leave-in. Gonna try to just put it on. So this, like, I don't know, like I'm touching it and I can actually feel the ridges of my fingertips. I got to tell you how it just almost kind of disappeared. I can feel the ridges of my fingertips. So, I mean, yeah, I can feel it here, but this, like, I can feel like there's nothing in between. So this is it. It does go in, but it just goes in and it's like, okay, so where is it? So that was my experience 
on my hair and that's kind of what it feels like on my skin as well so I put a lot my hair is frizzy and it wasn't really moisturized but the slip was okay this one I repurchasing either so I do have some of her body stuff and I will give it a try and I think I'll probably do a little a few body reviews next year because I do have some body stuff I'm trying to find alternatives to the body line that I used to use. Last but not least, I just have these two kind of randoms. I think I found this at my grocery store or Target and this one I found at Target. So this is the Mixed Chicks Styling Gel. So I saw that Mixed Chicks came up with this new kind of more natural looking line or so it looked. So I decided to give it a try. I did like the ingredients. I think it does probably have one or two things in there I don't normally use but for the most part it seemed okay. I like the thyme and lavender and just kind of all the extracts. That was kind of cool. It does have like polyquat and PVT pretty high up and I don't really use those. But it smells almost like men's cologne which isn't exactly bad I guess. It smells kind of like that. Like men's cologne. Like a nice one. So I don't know. It's an interesting scent but it's not bad. And I don't think the scent lingers for those of you who are concerned about that. I was really excited when I first put it on because it has such a thick and tacky texture. Like I really thought, ooh, this is going to be interesting. But when it dried, it didn't really, it wasn't like a super duper wow for me. So my hair wasn't horrible. This is it going on. My hair wasn't horrible by any means. My hair felt pretty soft, wasn't super, wasn't super dry or anything, but it wasn't my favorite. So I think I said in that review, if none of the other better gels are there in Target, I would use this pretty happily. But I probably won't buy it again just because it didn't wow me. And I guess last but not least is this Mary Moisture Shea Butter Mask. It has aloe vera juice as the first ingredient. I think all of their products do. So I was just curious to give it a try for myself and see what I thought. And overall I liked it. So it definitely was a sitter as well, but after let it sit for like half an hour my hair felt soft and moisturized so we were good to go so i think i actually probably used this twice already but you can see how thick it is so it's not like super like shea moisture thick but it is you know it is pretty solid in a jar so this is how it goes on it might it probably takes a little while to go on but i can see it gets there and you can see like my hand still looks still has slip and you know doesn't feel completely icky so I think that's pretty much similar to my experience in my hair it's almost like a tropical scent I do like the scent I did like the texture and I did like how my hair felt after sitting so it does have decent slip and so on again I probably want to try some of the others too like they have a lot of different varieties and I do have the rinse out conditioner to try which I plan to try as a leave-in so that's coming up soon so and that's it. That's what I've been doing this fall. Overall, I didn't find any HGs, but I didn't hate much except the Product Junkie Naturals. I did find one kind of wow, which was the Alodia Cream Gel. Wow for the being like Eco Styler, but super light. I am also going to post my winter stuff from last year, now that I'm finally a year old as a blogger, just to give you a sense of before the season, what I like instead of after. So every time I post these, I want to post two. The current one and then a flashback from the year before for the upcoming season. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.